Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So last week, uh, Ping released the long-awaited yes. uh, release of the new i-series irons, the i230s. Yeah. Long time coming. Please. Yes, it's been a wait. I, uh, I think they have a lot of bag appeal, personally. They look good. Yeah. yeah. It's a really sharp, I think it's very minimalistic for them. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Appeals, I think, to the uh, the type of player, the, the category of player that they're really shooting at from a design mm. and technology standpoint. Mm -hmm. and, and they've also hit hard on the, the, the look, like you say, Matty, of what that player think is desiring. Not looking for, you know, busy, not no, looking for no. lots of lots of badges, lots of, you know, nobody needs it to look like an NASCAR driver. No. You know, a set of irons in the bag that look that busy. This looks good. Just yeah. a little hint of technology with the tungsten, or is it tungsten? Yes. Okay, good guess. Well, tungsten, uh, <laughs> with the, in the in toe, the just kind of lets you know, hey, there is some stuff going on here. And Maddie, there is a tungsten plug in the hosel as well, as long with, on the toe. So why would they do that? Like, what's the purpose of putting one in the hosel? I mean, on you know, you have one on each side, basically, MOI enhancing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. the more you can spread the mass, right. uh, the more you're going to stabilize miss hits, the more you're going to retain ball speed. Okay. All, all that kind of key stuff, and we know. Ping uh, are one of those companies that they, they don't sacrifice on MOI. No. You know, one of the things with the drivers is noticeably they are heavier than yes. all the other companies. So to them, stability is, is very, very important. Um, and, and having sort of mass. I mean, we, we do see lots of companies kind of move weight towards totally. the toe now, yeah. but you know, they've got it at both ends. Um, Just smart, it balances yeah, it. Because you it might does. get a heel striker, a toe striker. Mm -hmm. You might have someone that does both. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I think, guys, one of the things we have to touch on as well in terms of the, the new design or the new functionality is, is when you look, put the club down, the additional grooves. Yeah. It's very noticeable. Yeah. There's a lot of grooves in this club. There are. We yeah. were all counting grooves earlier. <laughs> yeah. 20, 18, 16, yeah. but I mean, it looks that yeah. traditional, you know, I hate to use another brand, but that Cowley Razor X kind of iron, mm. very compact. It, it looks really nice. The profile of it is nice, and it's short heel. The pitching wedge, at least, is short heel to toe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of reminds me of like a Mizuno something pitching wedge. It's yeah. a nice yeah. profile. Yeah, and, and just so you kind of get a little bit. Uh, so to, to help with the look of that, you increase the height of the blade. So mm. it's a taller blade. Taller blade and okay. gives them more room for, for grooves. So 20 grooves in the wedge. Yeah. We're looking at 18 in the mid iron, 16 in the long iron. Wow. So what that does, because we've heard this buzz word or, or kind of term from uh, Ping, the spin consistency. Mm. Right. So really trying to um, increase the, the the consistency of the spin rate off all of the clubs, trying to take the moisture or, or debris away yeah. from the face, trying to get as much ball and surface contact as we possibly can. Yeah. Trying to eliminate the variables to make your distance control a little bit more predictable. Makes sense. And this would be a Hydro Pearl iron as well? Hydro Pearl 2.0, which as we've seen is, is actually one of the uh, best technologies, I believe, in, in the market. Super I really good. Do. Yeah. From a consistency standpoint, when you put any other wedge up against a ping in wet conditions, mm. it's an absolute no contest. Yeah. Yep. Three times recently, I've shown someone the benefits of Hydro Pearl and three times the wedge has spun more with water on the, on the face. Oh, even more? Than, even more. <laughs> yeah, actually, I've found three times out of three, the wow. spin has went up. Just yeah. going to have to equip spray bottles and all our bass. Absolutely. You'll need them, yeah. Don't spin anyone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, why don't we dive into a little bit of testing. Sure. Uh, we can talk a little bit some of the other parts with the elastomer pour, and because and, we're going to get into when we hit them talking about sound mm. and feel. Yeah. A big part of uh, the design of that is, is about the sound and feel. So right. let's touch upon that as we uh, go through a few shots here. Okay, pitching wedge first. Okay. It's a lovely open on that boy. Yeah, good feeling one there. Yeah, right on your number. Lots of spin. Yeah, lots of spin. Um, certainly no, no shortage of that. We're looking at a wedge loft of 45, so mm -hmm. quite standard in today's, uh, today's yeah. you know, loft progression. Yeah. Sounds good. It really a does. Higher strike, but good too. Yeah, good strike. That was better. Just a little more straight down the line. And I hit that one really well. Yeah, good strike. It was like a very balanced one. It honestly, um, doesn't feel like a very techy iron. If you no. told me there wasn't. Um, stuff behind the back badge. If he said it was forged, I'd probably believe you. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it'll probably change 
with less loft, is that fair to say? Yes. The wedge probably feels the softest, but as a first checkpoint, I, it wouldn't turn me off with the feel. Mm. That's a beauty. Shot one. Shot one. Ooh. Felt good. Very good. Pretty good, just turned over a shade. Yeah, it's okay, I mean, we are playing shafts that are quite a bit lighter than what you, you're you used to. Yeah, the, fair. The Dynamical 105, which is the stock shaft, and obviously the proprietary uh, CB Alta um, mm -hmm. that, that Ping likes to have there. One thing, Mikey, when we were looking at the spec sheets, we did notice some lighter swing weights. Yeah, yeah, again, from the heads that we get in, and again, we can't play with the, the back badging or anything like that, so when they're building their stuff there, they get it to a, mm. a pretty close swing weight. If we rip shafts out, we're adding a lot of weight to the hosel yeah. for, for more for ping irons than anything. So um, yeah, definitely lighter than what I-210 was. That felt good too. A little bit of a draw. That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. That felt oh, nice. That was a good that strike. Struck really well. Didn't go crazy though, like Mikey said, like it's turned over, but I didn't airmail the green or something yeah. like that. That I hit the best. That was roast. Yeah, roasted. I hit that really centered. But it's consistent on distance. Yeah. Oof. Pretty similar. That's hammered. This spin came down a bit. I hammered that one. It sounded really good. Or I swung it was fast. Just ball speed to I think I just swung faster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So retaining lots and lots of spin at 4,000. I mean, as, as the modern iron is going towards um, less loft, you know, mm. lower center gravity, so it's easy to get the launch up, not easy to get the spin mm. up. This is a set that you can definitely, if you're struggling a little bit with, uh, with, with getting some spin on the irons, and like you said, you're playing a TP5X. Yeah. So there's more room to wrestle, you know, another probably four or 500 RPMs mm. if you needed it, if you were somebody Easily. who was struggling with stopping power. I was impressed with these overall though. I think that's a really good set of clubs. Probably the first set of ping irons that I think would suit me actually quite nicely if I were to be picking out a set. I'd try them in a fit for sure. I know we always talk about sound and people probably watch video and go, all they talk about, is, why are they always mentioning sound? Yeah. But as a fitter, if you turned everything off, you know, sound's key, in, yeah. in my opinion. As a ping iron, and no knock to their, mm -hmm. their previous stuff, it's the best sounding set of pings that I we've agree. tested. Yeah, by far. Well, once we get it in the matrix, uh, I think it would be good to try some shafts that you, yeah. you, would, you, know, you would certainly use. Sure. Uh, I think we'll, we'll do a little head-to-head -head with some other sure. irons in this category because as we know with uh, the I-210 in the past, the, the I-230 will be a, a, a range that's used by such a wide variety of players. Yeah. Point. I think you, you, know, you can go definitely go up in, in the handicap uh, category up to 12 to 15 if you're a good ball striker. Yeah. You'll see plenty of sets going out mm -hmm. on tour. I was just going to say, I'm sure on tour we'll see a lot of these. Yeah. Now the beauty's uh, Great really, irons. really nice. Yep. Good stuff. Okay, guys, uh, we, we definitely think, you know, pay attention to this one. I think many of you watching uh, certainly that I interact with this this covers a lot of you in that handicap bracket maybe the the kind of trying to break into single digits maybe single digits trying to break into you know category one or the a flight at your club that type of thing mm. you know these uh, dialed in and spec'd out these are these are stock these you are know, awesome. this is a stock set that, that Matty's got right now so yeah we barely um, did but well, we yeah, did nothing to them nothing to them yeah. so in the right shaft, right spec, and, and, and kind of really customized to you, Matty. I think yep. you could really tune these up. No different, you know, you, you take, a, take a, a nice car and, you know, you take it into the aftermarket shop, you put some parts in it, you take it to the track. Yeah. That's what you would do if you wanted to drive it effectively. You know, we've not taken this into the, the custom shop yet. And yeah, we should do work, it so. next, uh, maybe next few weeks. I think yeah. that'd be cool. Sweet. Okay, guys, let us know if you've tried these. I know we're not the first out there doing a review, but, uh, you know, let us know if, if you've managed to get out to a demo day, if you're, you know, maybe a little further south in warmer climates than us, <laughs> uh, and you've actually got on the, the, the turf. We'd love to hear your thoughts on, on 230. Has, is this one you've been waiting on? Have, have you played a 210 and are interested? Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Okay, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.